What's up everybody, Chronotech24 coming at you from Chronotech.net here on YouTube on Chronotech TV. Recently Jordan and Team Chronotech put together a tutorial on our blog on how to install Hyper-V for Windows 10 and I'm going to go ahead and show you the steps here on this video today. There's two main methods for doing so, the very first of which of course is to use PowerShell, whereas the second is to use the GUI which would be through control panel and add or remove an installed Windows feature. Of the two methods, I prefer PowerShell, however, both will work just fine for, for your usage. To start with, you're going to want to launch PowerShell. Of course, the very first thing you do, click in the search box and type the word PowerShell. In my case, I prefer using the ISE. You could also open the direct PowerShell command line as well. In this case, I'm going to right click Windows PowerShell ISE and select Run as Administrator. At that point, you want to go ahead and run the following commandlet with the appropriate flags, uh, which I have here ready to go. You can find this pasted down below in the description as well as on our blog post. Essentially, we're going to use the enable dash windows optional feature commandlet, and then we're going to add the dash online dash feature name, which is going to be Microsoft Hyper-V, and the dash all. So I'm going to go ahead and run this, and you'll see it proceeds. Once that finish, finishes up, it's going to ask us if we want to restart. In this case, we're going to want to say yes. Um, and once this restarts, you're going to see the computer kind of go through its configuration process as you've seen many times before with any type of Windows update. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And now before we, we reboot, I'm going to go ahead and show you the second method for installing Hyper-V. And this one's going to be through the GUI. So what we're going to do in this case is go ahead and open up the control panel. Next, we're going to go to Programs and Features and you want to select Turn Windows Features On or Off. From here, simply check Hyper-V. You'll see once checked, it's going to include uh, both of the management tools and the platform itself, as well as any dependencies. Uh, from there, simply click OK. Allow this to search for the required files, apply the changes, and it'll prompt you to reboot. Uh, once you go ahead and click restart now, again, as mentioned with the PowerShell change, same process, it'll reboot. You'll see the Windows configuration screen similar to when it installs Windows updates, and you'll be able to log back in and see that Hyper-V is present. All right, and now that we have gone ahead and rebooted, we can do a quick search for Hyper-V, and you'll see we have it loaded and installed. It's that easy, uh, pretty simple couple ways for you to do it there. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our blog, representchronotech.net. Have a great day.